everyone, so today's video is going to be a back to school makeup tutorial and it's very very minimal, very minimal makeup, very minimal products and just a kind of very pretty easy to wear makeup that would be school appropriate. So I'm going to start off with moisturiser and I've moisturised my skin and I just wanted to mention that this is a very important step if you're going to put makeup on. You might have acne, you might have oily skin, you still need to moisturise. This is a great moisturiser for oily skin and this is the Emmy Morning Dew matte finish moisturizer great for oily skin so I've just put that all over my face to help kind of keep the oil at bay and make sure that there's a nice base for what I'm going to put on next I'm going to use a BB cream because I don't think you really need to use foundation when you're um, at school I don't think there's any need for it and BB creams can work fantastically if you pick the right one my favorite ever BB cream is this one right here and this is the Boots Botanic Radiant Youth BB cream this has got an SPF of 30 and this is just amazing and you can use BB creams um, with your hands you don't need a brush or anything like that and they're just fantastic because they're very very easy to use so I'm just going to start by applying this kind of onto the centre of my face and working outwards. And as you can see, once you start to blend it in, all it does is just evens out your complexion ever so slightly, um, but still gives you a nice kind of natural skin look. But you're just kind of evening out your complexion, getting rid of anything that you might want to get rid of. And you can always go in and apply more where it's needed. Obviously, I'm going to just apply a little bit more onto kind of my chin and nose area because that's where I tend to have problems. But you do only need a tiny, tiny amount. It's got great coverage, this BB cream. So again, just chin, nose, and whatever I've got left on my cheeks. Just all over the skin. It's kind of just like wearing tinted moisturiser, really. So I've got that all over my skin, that's it. And then I'm going to go in with some concealer. Now naturally, if you have got quite problematic skin and you do feel like you need concealer, then go ahead and conceal um, everywhere on your face that needs concealing. I'm just going to put a little bit under my eyes and I'm using the Collection um, Lasting Perfection Concealer. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this, just dotted under my eyes. with my beautiful, beautiful facial expressions that I pull when I'm putting makeup. It's kind of scary. And then I'm just going to use a little brush to buff this out. You don't need to. You could do it with your hands. In fact, I'll do one with my brush and then I'll do the other one with my fingers. You don't really need to use a brush. I just think it gives a nicer finish. But obviously, when you go to school in the morning, you don't really have time. So that's what it looks like blended in with my hands. Then I'm going to go ahead and apply some powder. Powder is really important if you get oily during the day, which most um, oily skinned girls tend to do. You tend to kind of need a powder. I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I've hit pan on this one. And I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. This is the MAC 182 Kabuki. And I'm just going to kind of press the powder into my face and just smooth it everywhere, concentrating on the oily bits, which is your T-zone, which is your forehead, your nose, and your chin. But do take a little bit onto the rest of your face if your skin's oily. If your skin's oily, you can skip the step. It's not a, de a desperate necessity. Then I'm going to move on to bronzer. And again, this is just an extra step. I am going to add a little bit because I think it just adds a little bit of warmth and you can get super, super inexpensive bronzers. This one I'm going to use right here is from e.l.f. It's part of the bronzing and blush contouring duo. And I'm just going to get some on a big brush you want to be very light-handed with your bronzer tap off the excess and just start to swirl it where the sun would naturally hit now, i'm not going to use it to contour with or anything like that just kind of swirl it onto any areas of the face that the sun naturally gets so just like that very very quick and very easy next i'm going to move on to brows and brows are a very very important part of any makeup look really because they totally just frame your face and if you've got really um, neat brows, then you could just brush a little bit of clear mascara or you could just kind of brush them with a little brow definer and just kind of make them look a little bit neater. But I tend to find that most of us um, benefit from having a little bit of product in our brow. So I'm going to just use a little bit of this shadow right here. And this is a matte brown shade. Don't go for something too dark because even if you've got black eyebrows like me, it'll oxidise on your skin and it'll go really dark and look really unnatural. So I'm just using a matte, black, uh, matte brown shade right here. This is called Crushed Walnut. 
it's from um, Natural Collection. I'm just going to use it on a small little angled brush. You could use a pencil, but I think using a shadow is better when you're first starting out, especially um, because it just gives you a more natural, kind of less obvious and less harsh finish. So just take that anywhere you need it and give your brows a little bit more of a tidy look. But again, it's not an absolute desperate um, necessity. It's just something that I think really, really does make you look more pulled together and kind of make you see look more wide awake as well. Then moving on to eyes, I'm just going to use a little bit of eye primer. You don't have to use this, but there are very inexpensive ones and they will make your eye makeup last a lot longer. This one is the MUA eye primer. And if you just brush a little bit of this onto your eyelids and then blend it out with your fingers, it will make your eyeshadow last tons um, longer. And especially if you wear makeup and then like at school you've got pee or something and it'll smudge, this is fantastic. Then on my eyes, I'm just going to use a very, very natural shade. You don't want to wear tons of makeup when you're going to school because there's no need for it. I'm going to use this shade here. And this is from a little palette called Be Warm. It's part of the Beauty Essentials palette. Very inexpensive. And it's just a kind of champagne-y, pretty, um, natural shade. So I'm just going to get a little bit on a flat brush and just dust that all over my lid. You can kind of take a little bit higher up, but it's a very natural, pretty shade, so you don't really need to do too much with it. I'm just kind of taking it all over and making sure it's just blended and nice and natural. I wouldn't bother doing like crease work and things because there's just no need for it when you are getting ready in the morning and you just want a quick and simple and easy look. Then I'm going to move on to mascara and I'm only going to use mascara on my upper lashes because I feel like it just gives a fresher look and it doesn't look as done up. I'm using the Sky Lash Mascara and I am going to have to use a mirror to apply this because I can't apply mascara without really looking in a mirror very closely. So I'm just going to hold my mirror up and apply this just to my top lashes. You can apply several coats, but I think I'm just going to stick to the one. Like so, I've made my eyes water from holding them really open now because I don't normally do my mascara while looking that closely. But then just on the other eye, do the same thing. Brush your mascara through. You could even just use a brown mascara. Um, to look more natural and kind of just give you that little bit of definition. That eye was irritating me. Give you a little bit of definition, but not too much. So that's it for eyes. Eyes are done. Then I'm going to move on to cheeks. And on my cheeks, I'm going to just use a cheek tint. And this is one from the One Direction What Makes You Beautiful line for MUA. So I'm just going to use this on my cheeks and it's just a pretty little cheek stain but you can use any blush you like. I've done a full review of this so I'll link that in the down bar. But I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger. This is what the colour looks like. And I'm just going to get a small amount on my finger. You can apply this with your fingers only. And apply it onto kind of the high points of my cheeks. You can do it to the apples, it depends where you like your blusher. And then just with a flat brush I'm just blending it out so it gets kind of a nice natural finish and that's it. Do the same on the other side. Um, as I said, you can do it with fingers. I just find with cream blushes it tends to look better. And I have a hair there from my brush. That would be from the MAC 182 because it sheds like crazy. But that is it for my cheeks and it just gives a very fresh, very pretty look that's kind of great I think if you're starting out and you just want something quick in the morning. And then last but not least I'm just going to use a tinted lip balm. This is the Maybelline Baby Lips which have, has been all the rage in the US. They've come out here now and I've got this one in the shade Cherry I think it is. Um... I'm pretty sure it's cherry. But anyway, it's just like a tinted lip balm. Great for school. You can just chuck it in your bag. It's very inexpensive. And it smells like cherries. And it's going to just moisturise your lips. 
and make you feel like you've got a little bit of something on but not too much but that is it that's my finished look i hope you enjoyed this it's very very simple very very easy and i think anyone could pretty much achieve this no matter what level of makeup skills you have so i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you soon bye